Hey everyone, today is Wednesday, September 15th, and I am so glad to be back with you once again for this midweek time of reflection and of prayer. It was so great to spend some time with you all last week for the first time in over a month, and I hope that you left our time last week feeling uplifted and encouraged. Last Wednesday's devotion was a little bit of a departure from the last three weeks of sermons here at St. Andrew for our Sunday morning worship service. They have been tough for me to preach, and I'm sure that they have not been easy to hear either. We spent two consecutive weeks in James, wrestling with the often harsh and forceful language that is used to push the church into action on behalf of those in need. And then this past Sunday, we spent some time in Mark's gospel, hearing Jesus say these words, If any want to become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. For those who want to save their life will lose it. And those who lose their life for my sake and for the sake of the gospel will save it. For what will it profit them to gain the whole world and forfeit their life? So once more, these are tough words for us to hear. Tough, but I would argue necessary. It is more than clear that we are to put our faith into action. Incredibly, though, we do not go at it alone. We are promised again and again, over and over, that God is with us and that God is leading us forward. Isaiah 30, 21 says, And when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left, your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way. Walk in it. The 23rd Psalm says, He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Back to Isaiah, this time from chapter 58. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden like a spring of water, whose waters never fail. And in John chapter 8, Jesus himself says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Now, based on the past few weeks of sermons, we can surely apply the thoughts expressed here in in these verses to support the work to which we are called. That work that springs forth up from our deep and rooted faith. But maybe more importantly, we can hear those promises when we feel lost in life when we don't know what to do, we don't know what to say, we don't know where to go, when we can't see far enough ahead of us to see what our next step is, and when we don't think we have the strength to make it, we may not even have the strength to move. So here's what I want to tell you tonight. Whether you need motivation to get to work in service to our God, 
whether you need the strength and you need the guidance just to make it to tomorrow. Follow where he leads. Follow the one who shows us the way. Follow the one who leads us in paths of righteousness. Follow the one who is the light of the world so that we don't walk in darkness. Follow our God. Follow Jesus Christ. Follow the Holy Spirit. Follow the triune God who leads us. Now to end our time together, I want to share with you a song that uh, First Plymouth Church of Lincoln, Nebraska posted on their YouTube page just yesterday that just moved me so deeply. I hope it does for you as well. Now, while you may not be too familiar with that particular congregation or church, you may be familiar with their minister of music, Tom Trini. He has worked in the past and actually just this year with the Montreat Music Conference. I know over his time, over the years, he has led workshops and helped lead choir uh, performances. So you may know him from there. If you'd like to be more familiar with him, I will post the link to the actual video in the description of our video. And that way you can see more of their fantastic music program. But anyway, the song that they posted yesterday is appropriately named, Lead Me, Lord. Now, this song will be our prayer that concludes our time together. But before I play the song, I'd like for you to listen to the words. It goes like this. It's hard to take the first step when I don't know the way. Each turn is so uncertain. I learn to walk by faith. But you gave me a promise that you would never leave me. You will lead and guide me. Oh Lord, I do believe. Lead me, Lord, I will follow. Lead me, Lord, I will go. You have called me, I will answer. Lead me, Lord, I will go. Your plans for me are perfect. I never need to fear. For though at times I feel alone, I know that you are near. My heart just wants to follow. I'm willing to obey. Take my hand and lead me. I'll follow all the way. Enjoy this performance, my friends. And we will see you again next Wednesday. Bye, everybody.
For though in times I feel alone, I know that you are near. My heart just wants to follow. I'm willing to obey. 